Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to cascade the IC CD4033 and also we will see the pin 3 and 4 that is ripple blanking input and ripple blanking output. So let's get started. In this video we are going to cascade 3 of them. This should be IC1, it is IC2 and IC3. Before watching this video, please watch basic things of IC4033. After watching this video, please come to here. Now see here, pin number 2, 8 and 14 should be connected to the ground. With pin number 15, a 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected and then it is connected to the ground. And with pin number 16, we have to connect plus VCC. We can supply from plus 3 volt to 18 volt. I am connecting plus 5 volt. These are 7 segment display. In the last video we have seen how to connect this display to the IC. So in this video I am not going to explain the circuit diagram. So this is the basic connection. Now we have to cascade this 3 IC. As this one is IC1, so we have to provide clock signal to this IC. We will provide clock through a switch and we have to connect this switch to the IC. If you are going to use a microcontroller or any other IC to provide clock signal, you have to connect to pin 1. With this, you have to connect a pull down resistor. I am connecting a 10 kilo ohms resistor. For debouncing the switch, we have to connect a capacitor. It is 0 0.01 microfarad. And in this side, we have to connect plus 5 volt. So whenever we press the switch, it will get a clock signal. Okay, so this is how we have to provide. Now, the clock input is pin number 1 and clock output is pin number 5. To connect next IC, we have to connect this pin number 5 to pin number 1 of next IC. Again, this pin number 1 is clock input. If you want to connect another one, then you have to connect this pin 5 to its pin number 1. So this is how you can connect unlimited number of IC with this process. So this is how we have to cascade. Now two more pins we have to see, that is pin number 3 and 4. I will explain the working of these two pins at the time of practical. Okay, so this is the practical circuit. Now we'll see this thing on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. For this, we need three pieces of 4033, 220 ohms resistor, 10 kilo ohms resistor, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor, common cathode 7 segment display, push button switch, and LED. Putting the IC, IC 1, 2 and 3. And here it is pin number 1, pin number 1, pin number 1. Putting the 7 segment display, connecting pin number 2, 8 and 14 to the ground. Common pin of the display is connected to the ground as it is common cathode display. Pin number 16 of the IC is connected to the positive rail. 10 kilo ohms resistor is connected to the pin number 15 and then it is connected to the ground. Putting the resistors for the display. Connecting the IC to the resistor. For this connection, please watch previous video of 4033. Link is given in the description below. Now connecting the resistor with the display. These are connected. So basic connection is completed. Now we have to connect the switch to provide the clock pulse. Here it is switch. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail. Across the switch, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor is connected. Connecting an LED to see whether the switch is on or off. This is IC1. So its clock input pin that is pin number 1 
with this pin we have to connect a pull down resistor I am connecting at 10 kilo ohms with the switch pin 1 is connected pin number 1 is clock input pin number 5 is clock output this one this 5 should be connected to pin number 1 of next IC and then again we have to connect to pin number 5 with pin number 1 so like this we can connect more ICs as you can see here I have not connected anything to pin number 3 or 4 first I will test this circuit and then we will connect this to pin ok now see this connecting plus 5 volt here it is negative and positive it is showing 145 I am turning off the lights so that we can see this better with this switch we will provide clock pulse 6 7 8 9 now it is 49 it is 50 but we are not able to see the 0 then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 again it is 60 but we are not able to see the 0 again if you see one nine nine it will be two but we are not able to see the zero so if you want to see the zero then disconnecting this turning on the light if you want to see the zero then you have to connect pin number three to positive if you want to turn on the zero then to the positive here I am connecting pin number 3 to positive rail pin number 3 to positive rail pin number 3 to positive rail pin number 3 is ripple blanking in this is input pin again I am connecting the power supply here it is negative and here it is positive that is 2 2 2 turning off the light see now we are seeing the zero because pin number three is connected to the positive rail because all the pin number three are connected to the positive rail now let's see about pin number 4 pin number 4 is ripple blanking out turning on the light before discussing on pin number 4 we have to see one thing 0 0 0 has no values so we can keep the display blank or turn off our display it means 0 0 0 1 it means the value is 1 this 2 0 has no values but 1 0 0 means it is 100 now these two zeros have a value this 0 doesn't have any value but this 0 has so we will see this thing by using ripple blanking in and ripple blanking out pin that is pin number 3 and pin number 4 pin number 4 is ripple blanking out at the time of cascading we have cascaded from this side 1 2 3 but if you want to use this concept then you have to connect from this side because 0 in the left side has no value 
so we have to start the connection from this side pin number three is ripple blanking in so it is connected here and then we have to connect this ripple blanking out pin to the ripple blanking in to the next IC then again pin number 4 should be connected to pin number 3 as this one is connected to positive rail now we can see the meaningless zero connecting the power supply here it is negative and the positive turning of the light as you can see here these two zeros are meaningless and we are able to see this because because the blanking input pin is connected to positive rail if we connect this pin to ground here we are not able to see the meaningless zero turning of the light now see here I'm increasing the number nine and we'll get ten now see we are able to see the zero because it is meaningful zero again if you goes on like this we can see the zero here also we have a zero but it is meaningless so we are not able to see the zero if we keep on increasing the number Ninety-nine and one hundred. See, we can see the meaningful zero. Now I'll increase this number up to nine ninety-nine. I'm using function generator. Increasing the frequency. It is now 966 999 and after this we will get 000 but 000 has no meaning so the ripple blanking input pin blanked all the display again if we press here it is 1 here we have zeros but we cannot see this if we connect this pin to positive pin number 3 we can see the 0 so this is the working of pin number 3 and 4 so in this video we have seen how to cascade the IC and also we have seen the working of pin number 3 and 4 so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.